we're going to be canning some tomato based vegetable soup. So step one, you're going to need to take your uh, mason jars and run them through the dishwasher. And then you want to get your lids. Now these ball lids are, this is the band, this is the actual lid. Now if you've used these, you can use them once and then the, the actual lid part um, you can only use once. So once they're done, they're done. Uh, you can reuse the bands, but you have to buy new lids. That's why you'll see those for sale at the store. I would recommend using these Tatler lids, which are uh, reusable. And they come with a, uh, a rubber gasket. So this is the lid, this is the rubber gasket, uh, and this is the band. So uh, also you're going to want to scald these uh, prior to use, even if they're brand new out of the box. So basically what you do is just put it in a pot, uh, run it to right before boiling, then just turn it down and let it sit in the water until you're ready to go. So for tomato-based vegetable soup, what we're going to need to do is we need to get the skins off the tomatoes. And in order to do that, we're going to have to put the tomatoes in boiling water for about a minute. So when we, so initially when we put the potato, the tomatoes in the boiling water, it will uh, stop boiling. So what you want to do is wait until it gets back to a boil again and then you want to count about a minute. Actually I'm going to I'm actually going to put a few more in. So you want to wait until that gets to uh, boil again and then count about a minute and then uh, and then we'll put it in the uh, ice bath and then uh, we can take the skins off. The skins will slide right off at that point. So the tomatoes have been sufficiently boiled for the skin to come off. What I would recommend is leaving the water boiling and just scoop out the tomatoes and put them in your, in your uh, cold water bath. And the reason why I would recommend doing that is if you dump out all of the boiling water, it'll take an awful long time to get the next one uh, ready to go. So if you're doing multiple batches of tomatoes like we are, it'll take an awful long time to, uh, you know, we can wait sometimes at 45 minutes just to get a, this big pot of water boiling. So now that the cold water bath has cooled them down sufficiently that we can handle them and pull the skins off, I just want to Dump the tomatoes out into a uh, colander. And I'll just basically take them from the colander right to the uh, my container here for the t tomatoes. So basically what you're going to do is just, just pull the skin off. And it slides off a lot easier after they've been uh, boiled for a minute. Okay, and once you have taken all the skins off of the tomatoes, then it's ready to actually make the soup. Uh, so what you want to do is, you, as a base, you want to put some olive oil, um, just probably enough to cover the bottom of your pot. And then uh, you want to put, um, you want to let that heat up just for, oh, you know, a minute or two. And then we're going to put some onions and garlic in there and let that saute for a few minutes. And then we'll start to put um, the tomatoes and vegetables. Once the oil is hot, you want to put in some onions. These come straight from our garden. And then we're going to put a little bit of garlic in. Usually we use fresh, but this time we're just going to be using a little bit of not fresh. And just saute that around. For a few minutes. I'm also going to add a um, little bit of uh, black pepper with it, a little bit of salt. Let that uh, cook down a little bit. And then in a couple of minutes, we're going to put in uh, the tomatoes and vegetables. All right, once the onions and a little bit of garlic, don't add too much because it can really intensify, especially if you're canning the taste. And you can always add more later. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm spooning out the uh, tomatoes that we took the skins off earlier. 
I'm putting that in the pot. And typically you don't even need to add water. Sometimes you do, but if you're, your tomatoes are typically juicy enough and they'll break down. And then once you do that, I'm going to add um, the vegetables that we cut up and we cut eggplant and zucchini and red bell pepper, green bell pepper. Um, i trying to think if there's any else, uh, anything else in this one. You can put basically anything in it. We've done, uh, you can do, um, you know, wax beans and potatoes and all sorts of um, anything really, vegetables that you like in regular vegetable soup. So you put all those in. And then we stir it up and it'll cook down. You can see some of these tomatoes are still whole and what they'll do is you can break them up a little bit, but they'll cook down. And uh, if you do need to add a little water, um, you should probably wait and see if it, you know, cooks down a little bit. So, uh, cause you can always put in more. The rule is you can put in, uh, you can't really take out. <laughs> so you kind of want to follow that rule of thumb. I've made lots of mistakes not following that. And uh, you stir that all in, get that all, make sure everything's incorporated. And then because we're going to be canning it and tomatoes are a little tricky when you can them, you need about um, a quarter cup of lemon juice. It helps uh, with the acid when you can it. So we're just going to put a quarter cup of lemon juice in. And it really doesn't taste lemony with everything else that you're cooking in there. But if you feel like you can taste it, you can always put a little bit of uh, balsamic vinegar in it to kind of give a little bit of a different type of kick or even a little bit of sugar if you feel like you taste it. Um, or some other type of spice. Speaking of other types of spices, one of the things we put in because we grow a lot of basil is fresh basil. Put that in with it as well. And I'll probably add a little bit more later on as it cooks down a little bit. I keep tasting it and just kind of seeing, you know, what it needs. There's some of the initial things we put in there. And I'll put a little bit more, a um, little bit more salt and pepper in with it. But this is going to be—it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty chunky. But it will—it'll cook down from here, though. So we probably won't need to add any water. But if we do, we can. I mean, we will. So I'm just going to add a, a little bit more salt and pepper to it. Then you want to let it cook for a really, uh, stir it in and then let it cook for a really, really long time. Kind of almost bring it to a boil and then let it simmer for a, for a long time. Let everything cook down and get soft. We didn't cook any of these vegetables ahead of time. They're just going to cook right in the, right in with the soup. And that's tomato based vegetable soup. So the tomato based vegetable soup is finished. Now what we'll need to do is fill the mason jars. So the ball canning kit comes with a nice funnel that fits pretty well. We just use a ladle to ladle in the vegetable soup. Now you need to have with these Tatler lids they recommend an inch of headspace at the top to um, allow for vacuum. So they give you the canning kit gives you one of these, I mean, you could certainly measure it, but it gives you this nice little, so it gives you an idea. So it's actually ends up being right about there is what we're shooting for. So remember, it's a lot easier. It's hard to take out. Once you get towards the end, it's nice, not a bad idea to start taking smaller amounts. That's about right. So you take your funnel out, and you'll want to wipe the uh, the top of the lid. I'm going to take a clean towel or paper or something to wipe the top of the lid off 
and then you'll want to put your, your lid on. Now the lid, this is the lid, this is the, the, uh, the gasket, the rubber gasket, and this is the band. So what you want to do is take your Tattler lid, center it on the jar, so it's nice and center. Then you put your band on, and what you want to do is take your finger and hold it in place while you screw the band on nice and loose. Then go ahead and tighten the band tight, pretty tight. And then what you do, the last step, after you've got it nice and tight, you want to turn it back loose one quarter inch, so just a little bit. About right there. And that's it. And they're ready to be uh, um, water bath boiled here in a minute. So the final part is we're going to submerge the jars of vegetable soup into the water bath canner. And That'll need to be completely submerged in water, in boiling water. And you'll want to keep it in the boiling water for about, 40, about 45 this minutes. This finished product, and you'll want to allow for 12 to 24 hours for the uh, lids to suction. And um, at that point, you can take off the uh, bands, and the lid should stay put.